Good morning and welcome to your Wednesday devotion. I'm Pastor Jay. I'm here in the Walker Cannon Memorial Chapel at Christ the King. And behind me is the columbarium where many of our friends and family are laid to rest in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. And I'm here today because today is the anniversary, the 23rd anniversary of 9-11. And that's so hard for me to imagine. It seems like yesterday I was at the time in chaplain school learning to be a Navy chaplain. And I think the whole country was taken by surprise. I think it changed everything. It changed our sense of security, uh, gave us a deep sense of sadness. Um, it changed the way we go through airports, right? And, uh, but at the same time, it's 23 years past. And today we're going to start a new book called It's Not About Me by Max Licato. And this is something you can find in our church library if you'd like to read the whole thing. I'm going to share some passages with you over the next few weeks. But this first one has to do with change. And I think today I'm just reminded not only of those who lost their lives and how horrible that was, but I'm also reminded of how time goes by. Uh, 23 years ago, it's hard to imagine. So here's, here's what uh, Licato writes. 1966, Lyndon Johnson was president. The voices of Goldwater and Dirksen dominated the Senate. Watergate was a D.C. apartment building. And the best-known Bush was the one that spoke to Moses. Vietnam rumbled, hippies rocked, Woodstock was a dairy farm, and the Licados, of course Max and his family, were moving into a new home. LBJ soon moved back to Texas, and Watergate snake, snake bit Nixon. Uh, Goldwater and Dirksen stepped down, and the Bushes stepped up. Vietnam, hippies, and Woodstock faded like tie-dyed t-shirts. But the Licato family stayed in that yellow brick house. For 35 years we stayed. The Beatles came and went. The economy rose and fell and rose again. Much changed, but there was always Licato living in the three-bedroom three house just off Avenue G. Until today, as I write, movers load three decades of family life into a truck. The mailman is peeling Lakato off the mailbox and stenciling on Hernandez. The vacating was bound to happen. It had to happen, but it's hard to see it happen. Change like taxes is necessary, but unwelcomed. Change. A few of you are thinking, you want to talk about change? Let me tell you about change. Let me tell you about my changing body. Chemotherapists treat my body like a pincushion. My changing family, we're surprised, pregnant. I'll wear maternity clothes to the high school graduation of my firstborn. The changing economy. If my investments don't improve, I'll spend my retirement eating macaroni and cheese. Our changing business. I'm jobless. Mailing resumes pays no bills. Change. Had more than your share? Wishing you could freeze frame the video of your world? Would it help to stand in St. Peter's Square and tell the fellow on the balcony, stop, no more change? Save your breath. He can't help. If you're looking for a place with no change, try a soda machine. With life comes change. With change comes fear, insecurity, sorrow, stress. So what do you do? Hibernate? Take no risk for fear of failing? Give no love for fear of losing? Some opt out. They hold back. A better idea is to look up. Set your bearings on the one and only North Star in the universe, God. For through, though life changes, he never does. Scripture makes pupil-popping claims about his permanence. Isn't that the, isn't that the truth? Uh, God talks about how everything changes, but he doesn't change. Over time, he's dependable. He's there for us. He makes promises that are true. And he makes promises to our friends and family back there in the columbarium. He makes promises to those who died on 9-11 and to us. And so that's what keeps us going, is to keep our eyes on that north star of the universe, which is God. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, today we remember 9-11-2001. We remember the lives that were lost so tragically. We remember of the evil of that day. And we pray, Lord, something like that would never happen again. We also pray, Heavenly Father, that you would remind us that through the change of, in our lives, through all the struggles and the good times and, and just that sense of 23 years passing like a day, Lord, remind us that you are there. Remind us to keep our eyes on you, that you are a hope, that we can deal with change in a positive way and be your light in this world. We ask you to bless us today, O oh Lord. Make us people of confidence and peace. Make us a light shining in the darkness. We ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. Well, God bless you. 
Remember 9-11 and have a great day.